Story time about how my boyfriend was hiding his two-year relationship from me. So a little background information. I was 18 and a senior in high school. And in the middle of the school year, I had a new student in my fourth period class who we're going to call Jose. And he was 17 years old and in 11th grade. Now, he wasn't technically new because I'd seen him around school and everything like that. But up until this point, neither of us knew that each other existed. So he gets introduced to the class, blah, blah, blah. He sits in the very back of the room. And I knew that this man was going to be my boyfriend. So when I got home that day, I was texting my friend about him. Thankfully, she gave me his Snapchat. Fast forward, we're talking and elevators get brought up. Now, in my school, you are not allowed to use the elevators unless you're injured or for some other reason. Well, he was talking about how he always used the elevators and nobody really cared. So I meet him at the elevator the next day and blah, blah, blah. We start flirting. And this led to him and I being super close. Like we would FaceTime every day. We would always sit together at lunch in class. Like for part two. Part two about how my boyfriend was hiding his two-year relationship from me. So like I said, every day after that, him and I were pretty much inseparable. We would FaceTime literally 24-7. We would always sit together during lunch, during class. Well, the one day I'm sitting in my homeroom and he comes in and he asked me to be his girlfriend. Of course, I said yes. So fast forward to Halloween, my family was handing out candy and he was going trick-or-treating with his family because he had younger siblings. And this is where our families were supposed to meet, but he didn't end up coming to my neighborhood, which I was super happy about. Well, then fast forward to my birthday. Our families were supposed to meet again, but it didn't end up happening again. And I wasn't really sure if this was the reason why things got weird between him and I. The one night I was over at my friend's house and Jose's on FaceTime with me. And I was talking about how I could pick him up and him and I could hang out. And he literally just didn't even say anything. So I was like, okay, is that a no? So then he was like, uh, I don't know, I might be busy, blah, 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 like for part three. Part three about how my boyfriend was hiding his two-year relationship from me. So like I said, him and I are on FaceTime, I'm asking him if he wants to hang out, and he's being super weird about it, being super standoffish. Well, fast forward a little bit, he seemed like he wasn't interested in me anymore, and it really hurt my feelings, obviously. So he didn't talk to me the rest of the day, and then he texted me the next day. And he was telling me how different we are and how we barely have anything in common and how we rushed into things. Pretty much a bunch of excuses as to why he thinks that we should break up. Well, after that, him and I don't speak for a few days. And then I had a fake account on Instagram. And after our breakup, I viewed his story the one day. So then I look at his Instagram story. He posts a picture of another girl with a heart. And then I found her account and she had pictures of them dating back from like two years ago. Now, still to this day, I don't know if he was cheating on her or if they were on a break or whatever, but I also thought that it was weird that they were dating because she was 19 and he was 17. Story time and you guys already know the drill. Grab a snack, sit back, relax, and let's get on with the cheese man. So this story is about the time that me and my mom were followed. Let me tell you guys how it all started. So me and my mom were at the movies. The movie finally ended. We walked to our car. We got inside and my mom turned out the car and she was getting ready to pull out. But right when she was about to pull out, we seen that there was this truck right behind her car. Now, we thought that maybe he was just waiting for the parking. So that's when we pulled out of the parking spot so he could take it. We started driving away and then we realized that he wasn't waiting for the parking spot at all because he didn't even take it. He just kept on driving and me and my mom ended up pulling out of the theater lot. And then that's when the person in this truck also drove off of the theater lot. But we didn't think anything of it at the time. We decided to go get something to eat with my mom's friend and we were driving to Poco Loco. On our way to Poco Loco, we realized that this man in this truck was following us. Because every time we moved to a different lane or turned somewhere different, we did the same thing. At this point, we realized that we were being followed and my mom started panicking. I mean, I don't blame her because she had her daughter in the car and then she also had her friend. My mom started speeding and she took a different route and we thought we lost him. But then we turn around and we look at the back and we see him again. This man in the truck is still following us. And it made it even worse because every time we thought we lost him he would find us again somehow so then my mom was like call the cops right now so that's exactly what i did i called the cops and we get to a red light we're sitting there and this man pulls up right next to us that's when he rolled down his window we were all so scared we turned and we looked at him and that's when we realized that it was my cousin turns out he was in town visiting us and following us to poco loco because my sister and my brother and my dad were there waiting for all of us to get there we were surprised and that's when we told him to follow us to the restaurant which is what he was trying to do in the first place but we thought it was some crazy man following us instead so the next time if someone's following you make sure they're not related to you before you end up calling the police this woman tried to start a fight with me and my mom on our flight last week to miami but when it's time to get in line to board the plane everybody is desperate i get it we all trying to get on so as we're getting in line this woman tries to cut my mom and my husband off she goes like this i'm like excuse me sorry he's my husband i was here first first 
Do we have the same definition of first? Because first means primero. Means like you arrive before the other person. You're practically running over your baby just to cut off my husband who's getting in line with me. As we're waiting in line, she starts huffing and puffing in my mom's ear. She's like, oh, these people, they have no respect. We tried to ignore her. We tried. Once we're boarding on the airplane, as I'm waiting for the people to put their carry-ons on the top, this woman starts screaming at me. Oh, can you move out of the way? We're trying to get to our seats. Ma'am, I'm trying to wait for them to put their suitcases up. I can't cross right now. Can you hold up? You're in the way. We have kids too. So this was the moment when I was ready to grab her from the greñas. Her little kid starts running down the aisle and like runs into my mom's feet, runs into my feet, and I just kind of like move out of the way. And she started screaming at my mom, saying, "Watch out! You're gonna step over my child. You're gonna hurt him." Almost pushed my mom. Part two. Part two of this woman trying to fight me and my mom on her flight last week. Just to make this matter worse, this woman was sitting in the row directly in front of us. As we're sitting down in our seats, she keeps staring back like, Bro, can we help you? All of a sudden, we hear on the speaker, Your flight will not be taking off. Are you for real right now? Apparently something was really wrong with the airplane and we could not fly. So not only are we super stressed out by this lady, now we gotta unboard. As we're waiting in line to get out, her baby was sitting at the window seat. She was sitting in the middle and her dad or husband, I couldn't tell, was sitting at the edge. Keep that in mind. So now, pretend that's the walkway of the airplane. My mom is standing there with her purse like this. I don't know where she stands up and from the back of her throat screams at my mom again. Oh my God, you're hitting him with your purse, stop. I was standing right behind my mom. Her bag wasn't even close to that man. Her purse was closer to solving the problem with the economy than to touching this man. Okay, sis, you got me messed up. You need to chill out. My mom is hella peaceful, but she was even over her. She was like, when I get off of this plane, cuando yo me baje de este avión. I'm going to tell her que si quería ser cuidada como princesa, se hubiera sentado en first class. If she wanted to be a princess, she should have sat in first class. In high school, I was taking a test, and I noticed that all the answers that I was getting on the test were B. It was just B, 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 B on a Scantron, and I thought, well, that can't be right. So I went back, and I changed a bunch of my answers. My friend sitting next to me was not doing as well in the class. And so when she saw that there was a pattern of B, 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 she was like, screw it. I have a bad grade anyway. And so she didn't even read the rest of the questions. She just filled in all the Bs on the Scantron, finished first, and she got an A on the test. And I was like, why? Why would you do that, Mr. Garcia? And he said, well, if you really knew your stuff, you wouldn't have gone back and changed the answers. You wouldn't have been insecure about it. And I was like, I'm 15. You can't take points off of a test because I'm insecure.